Hey everybody, Chris Peters with another scouting report for the 2024 NHL Draft, and we are going to focus today on Berkeley Catton, one of the more exciting and dynamic players of the 2024 class from the Spokane Chiefs. And what a season it was for Catton, one of the top scorers in the WHL, and certainly a guy that has pretty much become a consensus top eight pick. If you look around the different rankings, you'll see him usually no lower than eighth. And I think there are some people that think he could even slip into that top three. Well, why is that? Let's talk a little bit about Berkeley Cat and let's start with the season that he had with Spokane and what a season it was. In 68 regular season games for the Chiefs, he had 54 goals and 62 assists, good for 116 points. He finished fourth in WHL scoring in terms of total points and third in goals with 54. And what a year that is for any player, but certainly a draft eligible player looking at you know, guys like Connor Bedard certainly had better seasons, but Catton not much different than some of the guys that have really starred in the NHL outside of the, the WHL, so coming from the WHL. So what is it that makes Catton special? To me, I think there's that speed fa factor that really does. He's a 5'11 forward, so that's something that he needs to have is some that speed and that ability to get through defenses, get around defenses, and that is something he does remarkably well. He creates a ton of offense off the rush, and as, he, as he's able to do that, that's something that we see across the NHL. There's a lot of that transitional offense. And when you have a player that can process the game at the speed that Catton does, it allows you to have a more effective rush game overall. So I think that you're talking about speed, hockey sense, hands all working together for Catton to allow him to be such a traditional or such a dominant rush player. So really like seeing that from him throughout this season, his ability to slip through defenses and then the quick hands that he has to finish off plays and different things that he does. I mean, it's all out there. He has a very flashy game. You see a lot of the skill elements. You see the little dipsy do moves. You see all the different things that he's able to do with the puck on his stick. But I also think there's a tenacity to him. There's a competitiveness to him. There's a really a real ability to finish plays. And when I talk about that, it's not just about goal scoring. It's about you know spotting a play, spotting the right the right man to hit the puck with, the opportunity to shoot, the opportunity to pass, whatever it may be. He makes a lot of those decisions well and is able to finish plays. So you're not leaving as much on the ice. And that's something I think that Berkeley Catton does about as well as anybody in this draft. When you look at what he could potentially be at the NHL level, I think because he's a, a smaller than average center, it makes things a little bit tougher. Maybe he gets moved out to the wing. Maybe he moves around. I still think that his skill set, his hockey sense, his speed, all put him on track to being a top six player in this league. He's still going to have to get stronger as all players do at this age. He's still going to have to get, you know, ready for the grind of the NHL as all players do at this age. But I think mentally and physically, he's done a lot of things in the last year where you just see a real exceptional talent that is really taking his game to the next level. And that is something you absolutely love to see. So I think we're looking at a top six forward, whether it be center or wing in the NHL, and a guy that is going to produce points. So that is a very valuable asset. That's why you see him in top tens across the public sphere. When I look at NHL comparables, I think there's a couple guys that jumped out right away, but one that I settled on, and this is a lofty one for him, is Tim Stutzla of the Ottawa Senators. I think Stutzla plays a similar style rush game. He's got tremendous speed, great hands in tight. He's become a little bit more of that shot pass threat that that you know he's a he's a brilliant playmaker on top of being a good scorer. You know, Catton is a goal scorer with 50 plus goals this season. You see the goal the goal scoring ability that he does have. You say, "Wow, that's a real asset." So I look at a guy like Tim Stutzla as a top of the lineup player, a guy that can make plays, a guy that can do things at speed and process the game at its speed. And that's where I see the elements of Berkeley Catton matching up. Stutzla is a little bit bigger. Uh he's probably a little bit faster too, but at the same time you look at those two guys, you say, "Wow, if you you can have a, a Tim Stutzla style player. You're going to be very happy about where you're at, especially if you're picking in that top 10 range where we fully expect Berkeley Catton will go. That's going to do it for this scouting report. Stay tuned for many more on Flow Hockey. You can catch us at flowhockey.tv or on Flow Hockey's YouTube page.